So hello everyone. Uh, in this demo, I will show you an extension to Tamos uh, CLI, and that extension is overlays. So if you go to Tamos directory and you check overlays, uh, you will find uh, documentation how to uh, properly set up your environment so uh, you can manage multiple uh, log files. Uh, for one project uh, that are based for different runtime environments. So you are already uh, familiar, familiar with our .yaml file that should be present in the root of your uh, project. And in that uh, configuration file, you can adjust configuration option that is called overlays dir. This specifies name uh, of directory that is relative to the project root where uh, overlays uh, uh, live. So in this case, we have two uh, runtime environments. One is specific for Fedora 33, and the other one is specific for uh, UBI, uh, both running uh, Python 3.8. Uh, these configuration options can have, uh, or these runtime environments, environments can have different configuration options when it comes to CUDA and uh, stuff like that. Uh, in this case, uh, the project structure uh, slightly changes. So your pip file and pip file log no longer live in the root of your application, but as they are specific to runtime environments, uh, they are placed into a directory that is uh, called as uh, runtime environment uh, specif uh, name specified in the .yaml file. Uh, inside the overlays uh, directory name, our case is uh, overlays. Uh, if you are using requirements txt and requirements in file, then you basically uh, can substitute uh, pip file and pip file log in the overlays uh, directory. Uh, this overlays directory uh, is then subsequently uh, used by uh, two commands. One is uh, advice uh, where you can specify run, uh, runtime environment name. And in that case, the advice will be specific to uh, the runtime environment uh, stated. Uh, this can be used in the build pipeline. And uh, you can also specify uh, the runtime environment that should be used uh, for installation uh, when you trigger a Tamos install. In that case, again, you can specify a runtime environment uh, name. Uh, this can be, again, configured using environment variable if you want to uh, use this command inside some uh, uh, build pipeline or somewhere else. Um, that's probably it. So, uh, that's probably all I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Yes. Uh, uh, oh, then go ahead. <laughs> no, it's just so if I don't provide the, the new uh, key overlays, then for the same software stack, it will consider a different uh, advice, will provide different uh, advice on these different runtime environments, right? But if I put overlays, then the runtime environments becomes the overlays, right? Mm -hmm. So there is no, um, I mean, you don't receive more than one advice for the same, I mean, yes, you, you, you do, but you, we are using that in a different way, correct? Mm -hmm. So uh, this overlays directory was introduced to distinguish uh, log files uh, for different uh, runtime environments. But if you do not provide this overlays directory uh, configuration option, then your root pip file and pip file log will be overwritten based on the runtime environment that uh, you request uh, analyze, uh, advice for. So that's not nice. And in, in that case, it's better to use this overlays directory. Uh, so uh, you place your log files inside uh, directories and you can use uh, Git to, to manage its, uh, their lifecycle. So in other words, if you do not provide this overlays directory, uh, configuration option and the recommendation engine provides different uh, stack for UBI and different stack for Fedora. Uh, it will always uh, get overwritten project root directory. That's some, something that uh, you want sometimes. Sometimes you don't want it. And if I have multiple runtime environments configured in PathYaml, uh, the last one is picked. 
Uh, by default, if you do not provide any runtime environment to advise and install uh, commands, then uh, the first, the very first one is, is by default. And um, the overlays directory and the functionality that you just described is also available in the Jupyter Notebooks extension because it's just a functionality of the Tamos library and we can use it. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, ju just as a comment, um, the overlays directory or the idea of having overlays is uh, bluntly stolen from uh, customized. That is uh, the way how customized customizes um, deployment manifests or manifests to different environments. And uh, what we refer to as an runtime environment is really a software stack installed a container running on. Uh, OpenShift or Kubernetes, right? No, we can also define the hardware that, that we are actually looking for. So it's a little bit more than just the software, it's also the hardware uh, environment. And this not really uh, works with uh, the check. So the check also checks the software uh, that you want to have present and also hardware really uh, fits into your application based on configuration option. So if I say I want to have an like like um, I want to have a specific CPU model, the advice is not really returning open shift labels, right? As of now, no. Yeah, that might be um, a good idea. So if I really um, go ahead and define the runtime environment, I want to run my Python software stack in as um, operating system and hardware. Um, right now we deliver back uh, environment variables to be configured. So if you do Tamos advice, we for example say uh, the Intel TensorFlow requires a certain set of environment variables to be configured. Yeah, uh, we should also deliver back the um, open shift annotations uh, that should be put in there in the deployment config to really hit the right hardware, correct? Yeah. So ideally have them standardized. So if there's open shift deployment, uh, then yes. uh, there are steps standardized. Yes. Cool, nice. Uh, thanks for that one. It feels like um, we can really give advice depending on the target runtime environment uh, that we, we are targeting with the deployment. That, that's really cool. Uh, I have a few questions. So with this, uh, like if I'm using this, I would have to use Thamos install or to install my packages if I'm running it in my local, right? Uh, I haven't checked, but is Pippin having this feature? Mm, no. So Pippin uh, doesn't have any overlays directory, and this feature is in that case specific for uh, Tot. And in that case, uh, Tamos CLI needs to be invoked with with uh, as, as an installation method. Uh, but you can also uh, use Pippin if you go explicitly to directory. So go to overlays for our 33, and then you issue uh, Pippin install. Pipend will uh, use the first uh, pip file and pip file log that, that was found and traversing up uh, the tree. So in that case, it will pick Fedora 33. That makes sense. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Any other question? Nice. Thank you, Frido.